Today on MTG Unpacked, it's time for another Commander Snack. So this is the series where we highlight a different legendary creature each episode. We go hunting through the packs here, looking for creatures of the same tribe. So we're not really concerned with the Commander's color identity or any special abilities. Purely looking for those creatures. So the Commander today, let's take a closer look. So it's actually one of the newer ones. We have Vito Thorn of the Dusk Rose. The dream creature Vampire Cleric. 1 3 for 3. Whenever you gain life, target opponent loses that much life. And for 3 and 2 black, creatures you control gain lifelink until end of turn. Alright, so we will be hunting for vampires and clerics today. And later in the video, we'll be taking a look at some mail from one of the patrons of the channel. So let's introduce the patron today. It is Damien Cox. Thank you for being a patron. So let's bookend things. We'll have the core 2020 in the middle, like so. And the patrons get the rares, mythics, foils, and anything over a buck. Okay, and of course, vampires and clerics today. So we'll keep our eyes peeled. Starting off here, MTG Arena. What are you playing in the arena? Anything fun? Let me know in the comments. Dismal Backwater. And the rare is Feline Sovereign. It's a creature cat, two, three, for three other cats you control get plus one, plus one, and have protection from dogs. Whenever one or more cats you control deal combat damage to a player, destroy up to one target artifact or enchantment that player controls. Good deal. Okay, and Malefic Scythe. For the uncommons, Reign of Revelation, Tavern Swindler, and the commons, Caged Zombie, Sanguine Indulgence, Titanic Growth, Makeshift Battalion, Opt, Celestial Enforcer, Creature Human Cleric, here we go, 2 3 for 3, pay 1 and white, tap, you get to tap target creature, activate this ability only if you control a creature with flying. Okay, next up we have Ranger's Guile, Bone Pit Brute, Swift Response, and Lanoir Visionary. Okay, so no vampires as of yet. I did try to pick packs which would have more chance of vampires. So let's see how we do with Allegiance. We have Rubble Slinger, Impassioned Orator, Creature Human Cleric. So we're getting all the clerics today. That's a bit of a surprise. 2 2 for 2. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you gain one life. Next up we have Humongulus, Gravelhide Goblin, Creature Goblin Shaman. Yes, I do love the goblins, Territorial Boar. And we'll just skip over the Plague White, apparently he is not important. Catacomb Croc, he'll bite your arm off. Watch out for that one, Chillbringer. Rubble Reading, Blade Juggler, Dagger Caster for the Uncommons. Zertar Goblin Creature Goblin Berserker and they do try to overshadow things at times, don't they? Junk Troller and the rare is Verity Circle Enchantment 3. Whenever a creature an opponent controls becomes tapped, if it isn't being declared as an attacker, you may draw a card for four and a blue tap target creature without flying. And then Orzov Guildgate and Emblem of Domri. Okay. Actually, I'll chuck the emblem in. Those can sometimes be difficult to find. Next up, Core 2020, which will soon be rotating out of standard along with guilds and allegiance. Okay, we have Sage's Row Denizen, Lavakin Brawler, Vorst Claw, Creature Elemental Horror, Destructive Digger, Creature Goblin, Griffin Protector, Stone Golem, Leafkin Druid, Frost Lynx, Dagger Sail, Aeronaut, Creature Goblin, I swear this, this wasn't supposed to be the Goblin Show. Uncommon's Portal of Sanctuary, Grave Digger, Manifold Key, and the rare is Thunderkin Awakener, Creature Elemental Shaman 122. With haste, whenever Thunderkin Awakener attacks, choose target elemental creature card in your graveyard with toughness less than Thunderkin Awakener's toughness. Return that card to the battlefield, tapped and attacking, suck it at the beginning of the next end step. And a foil Colossus Hammer. Look at the size of that thing. That is craziness. There we go. Got some nice lighting on it. Forest and Wolf token. Okay. War of the Spark up next. Believe it or not, does have a vampire or two. Maybe it's just a single vampire. I think it's Cruel Celebrant. Is that the one? 
All right, so next up we have Pouncing Lynx, Sky Theater Strix, Goblin Assailant Creature, Goblin Warrior, Makeshift Battalion, Return to Nature, Shriek Diver, Callous Dismissal, Nehiri's Stone Blades, Band Together, Prismite, and Uncommon's Bond of Passion, Interplanar, Beacon, Aishiok Dream Render, that is a nice one, I'll chuck that in as well, and the rare, Massacre Girl, Legendary Creature, Human Assassin, 4-4, four, four, for 5 with Menace, so when Massacre Girl enters the battlefield, each other creature gets minus 1, minus 1 until end of turn, whenever a creature dies this turn, each creature other than Massacre Girl gets minus 1, minus 1 until end of turn, fantastic flavour on that one, and an island, and a devil token, okay, on to some guilds, so, maybe we'll get a shock land today, we shall see, I always hold up hope for those. We've got a Cosmotronic Wave, Sworn Companions, Wall of Mist, apparently the cards want to stick together, Spinal Centipede, Vigaspore Worm, Hammer Dropper, Demir Locket, Luminous Bonds, Candlelight Vigil, Piston Fist Cyclops, here we go, first vampire, fantastic, Whispering Snitch, creature vampire rogue, 1, 3, for 2, whenever you surveil for the first time each turn, Whispering Snitch does 1 damage to each opponent and you gain 1 life. Sure, I hear things, I hear plenty, but how am I to talk with this parched throat? Okay then, uh, just a strike, Sun Home Stalwart, and the rare is Citywide Bust, a bit like this card, isn't it? Sorcery for three, destroy all creatures with toughness four or greater. And a Boris Guildgate and Soldier Token. All right, on to some Core 2021 again. Okay, so now we've got a US printed pack. Everything's back in the traditional order. We got an Igneous Cur, Elemental Dog, Staunch Shieldmate, Track Down, Fetid Imp, Forgotten Sentinel, Warded Battlements, Frost Breath, Furor of the Bitten, Masked Blackguard, Meteorite for the Uncommons, Garrix Uprising, Carrion Grub, and the rare is Volcanic Salvo. So sorcery for 12. That is madness. The spell costs X less cast, where X is the total power of creatures you control. Volcanic Salvo deals 6 damage, reach up to 2 target creatures and or planeswalkers. Okay, and a foil blood fill caves, that's appropriate, and a planes and MTG arena. So there we go. Not too many vampires today. We did get a couple of clerics though, so enjoy the pools. Damien, stay tuned. Later in the month we'll have the patron snap pack video. Always a fun time. If you missed one last month, I'll pop a link in the corner, you can check it out. Okay, so let's rearrange things here. We'll get these cards out of the way and take a look at the mail today. So this is from Rachel Cogman, one of the patrons of the channel, all the way from the UK. Okay, so we have, uh, looks like a note there. A, holy cow, a whole bunch of cards. Okay, so pop that over there. Let me just check there's no address info. All right. Oh, I like this. So, two MTG unpacked. Congratulations on three years and hopefully many more to come and almost being at 10,000 subs. Yes, that's right. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Keep up the awesome work. It also, also, it always makes my day better. All the best, Rachel Cogman. And we've got the Jackalope here, the mascot of the channel. Okay, so what is in this? I know there's something I'm supposed to sign there. We'll take a look at that later. Actually, oh, there's an absolute ton of stuff here. Okay. All right. So, oh, this is very much on theme. Soren Vampire Lord. Legendary Planeswalker Soren. It's a mythic. So, four loyalty for six is plus one. Up to one target creature gets plus two, plus zero until end of turn. Minus two. It was four damage to any target. You gain four life. Minus eight until end of turn. Each vampire you control gains... Tap, gain control of target creature. Nice one. And next up we have a Dirge Bat. Creature Bat, 3-3 three, three for 4. Mutate, 4 and 2 black. Flash flying, whenever this creature mutates, destroy target creature or planeswalker and opponent controls. And next up we have Aphemia the Cacophony. Legendary enchantment creature, Harpy. 
2 1 for 2 with flying at the beginning of your end step. You may exile an enchantment card from your graveyard if you do create a 2 2 black zombie creature token. Oh, this one's fun. Uh, Triskaidekaphobia. I think that's right. Enchantment for 4 at the beginning of your upkeep. Choose one. Each player with exactly 13 life loses the game. Then each player gains 1 life. Each player with exactly 13 life loses the game. Then each player loses 1 life. Okay, so this is a game, yeah. So that one's fun. I saw that in, uh, I think it was in an EDH game once, and I couldn't believe they actually won it. Oh, another mythic! The Cauldron of Eternity! Legendary artifact for 12. This spell costs two less to cast for each creature card in your graveyard. Whenever a creature you control dies, put it on the bottom of its owner's library for two and a black. Tap, pay to life, return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. At rate really only any time you could cast a sorcery. Holy cow, Rachel! You have gone above and beyond here. This is craziness. Okay, so another mythic. Gold Knight Castigator. I don't know if I have seen this one before. Creature Angel 494 with flying and haste. If a source would deal damage to you, it deals double that damage to you instead. And if a source would deal damage to Gold Knight Castigator, it deals double that damage to Gold Knight Castigator instead. And next up we have a Nightmare Shepherd, Enchantment Creature Demon, 4-4 four, 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 four with flying. Whenever another non-token creature you control dies, you might exile it if you do create a token that's a copy of that creature. Except it's 1-1 one, one, and it's a Nightmare in addition to its other types. And a Foil Goblin Wizard token, nice! I am sensing a theme here. So we have a lot of black cards and looks like some red cards. So it's my favourite colour combo, Rakdos! So leave a note in the comments, what is your favourite colour combo? Okay, now we've got my other favourite thing, Goblins! We've got a Jeering Instigator, Creature Goblin Rogue, 2 1 for 2 with Morph, 2 and a red. So when he's turned face up, if it's your turn, gain control of another target creature until end of turn, untap that creature, it gains haste until end of turn. And Goblin Wizardry! Oh, okay, so is that, that's a foil looks like. Very nice. Siege Gang Commander, Creature Goblin, 2-1, or 2-2, two, two, I should say, for 5. So when it ends the battlefield, create 3 one, one red goblin creature tokens for 1 red sucker goblin. Deals 2 damage to any target. Ready? Uh, fire! Oh, and I'm skipping ahead here in my excitement. Weasel Bat Red Cap, Creature Goblin Knight. Okay, so this, I think, is an evil plan to make me lose my voice, but let's see how well that works out. So we've got another goblin. Goblin Gathering! Goblin Gathering! Okay! Three of those! <laughs> this is hilarious. Goblin Motivator! Creature Goblin Warrior! And that is all the motivation you need sometimes. We've got a Boggart Brute! Creature Goblin Warrior! Raging Red Cap! Creature Goblin Knight! Red Cap Raiders! Creature Goblin Warrior! Couple of those blokes! Goblin Bird Grabber! Red Cap Raiders, I think. Yeah, we just had one of those. Okay, is that a complete playset? Holy cow! Clamor Shaman Creature, Goblin Shaman, Mad Ratter Creature, Goblin, Goblin Ringleader, Skirt Prospector Creature, Goblin. <laughs> okay, and it's a Pokemon card, Ultra Necrozma GX, HP 190, Ultra Beast, Photon Geyser Attack and Sky Scorching Light GX. Look at that shininess. That's an ultra rare from Pokemon. Oh, yes, more Pokemon. Dialga GX, also a shiny card. Fantastic. Holy moly, what's up with this bloke? Uh, M Camerupt EX with Magma Eruption, and he looks completely crazy. Okay, so that is a fun one. And Tapu Coco GX, isn't this... Uh, uh, yeah, I think there's one of these from one of the newer sets. This looks like an older one though, but a foil version here, or I should say a hollow, that's the preferred term, and Tyranitar GX with the lost out ability, Dusty Ruckus, and one more, <laughs> M Alteria EX. This looks like a little uh, Kirby type figure, except he's blue. I'm not really familiar with that guy, but yeah, very fun. Okay, so that's fun. And there was one more thing here. You wanted me to sign. Oh, yes. Fabled Passage. So let's get that in focus. It's a land. Tap, sack it. 
such a library for basic land card, put it onto battlefield, tap, then shuffle your library, then if you control four or more lands, untap that land. All right, fantastic. So let me just check if there are any others in here. I think that was the only thing you wanted me to sign and send back. So let me know, Rachel. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings, and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. I'd like to thank Damien Cox for being a patron and also Rachel Cogman for this absolutely hilarious mail, especially the, all those goblins and the Pokemon cards. That is fantastic. Hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.